What is up guys? We're back with another video and today we're checking out a brand new case from Fractal Design. And you know, Fractal Design has been one of the holdouts when it comes to like a fully tempered glass case with RGB fans and everything like that but it had to happen sooner or later. So we have this case right here, which is their brand new Define S2 Vision RGB. So let's go ahead and take a look. To start things off, there are actually two different versions of the Define S2 Vision. We have the RGB version that comes with four of Fractal Design's Prisma ARGB fans, but there's also a blackout version that instead comes with four of their Dynamic X2 fans. This case is more or less a variant of the original Define S2, so it is a very large case weighing in at just under 27 pounds without hardware installed. It has an all black design with tinted tempered glass panels. As of right now, Fractal Design is only offering the case in this color variant. Starting at the front of the case, we have our first tempered glass panel, which is affixed to the front bezel of the case. Behind it, you'll find three 140 millimeter ARGB fans. The front bezel of the case easily pulls off to access these fans. And one thing that Fractal Design has changed from the original Define S2 is that the fan rails are not visible. This of course is ideal since we have the tempered glass panel there. Between the front glass panel and frame of the case, you have about an inch of space. So Fractal Design was able to put ventilation down each side of the front bezel. While this is not the best airflow, we do actually have some airflow with this case. Towards the bottom of the case is a filter that pulls out from the front of the case. Since the entire bottom of the case is ventilated, the filter extends the entire length of the case. At the top of the case, you'll find your connections and buttons, which from left to right are HD audio, a small reset button, USB type C, a large power button, two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports. Keeping with a tempered glass theme, we have a tempered glass panel on the top of the case. Using a button on the back of the case, we can easily pop this panel out. One thing that's nice about this is with the top panel removed, we can easily connect our EPS connector or other connections towards the top of our motherboard. Using the glass panel, there are no cooling options at the top, but Fractal Design does include an optional cooling bracket and ventilated top panel. The cooling bracket supports three 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter fans, as well as 360 millimeter radiators, and it does have a fill port on it as well. On the main side of the case, we have a large tempered glass panel, which will allow you to show off your hardware inside your system. The opposite side panel is exactly the same, but since the panels are tinted, you don't have to worry that much about having the best cable management. Moving around to the back of the case, we have our fourth included 140 millimeter ARGB fan. This fan is mounted on rails and the case supports 120 millimeter fans here as well. Moving down, we have seven expansion slots as well as as two vertical slots. If you plan on installing your graphics card vertically, you will need to provide your own riser cable. Finally, at the bottom, we have our power supply mount. Getting inside the case couldn't be easier. The side panels are designed like typical case panels with tempered glass installed on top of that panel. This allows Fractal Design to not have any screws on the side panel, keeping that overall clean look. Once inside, we can see that the interior is separated into two main compartments. The main compartment is visible while the bottom of the case is covered by a full length power supply cover. Towards the front of the power supply cover is a removable section to make room for radiators, but it also now has a reservoir mount on it and tubing pass through holes. The power supply cover also has three mounting points for removable SSD mounts, which you'll see in just a little bit. The main compartment of the case supports motherboards all the way up to extended ATX. And as you can guess, you can fit the longest graphics cards in this case, no problem. Towards the front of the case is what we call the reservoir mount wall, as it has multiple mounting points for reservoirs, but if you decide to not do a water cooling build, it's gonna be pretty empty. Attached to the top of the case is the included ARGB strip. Sadly, this is actually attached with 3M adhesive, so if you're planning on moving it, it's gonna be a little difficult. Removing the opposite side panel, we can see how the rest of the case is set up. The first thing that caught my eye on the back side of the case is the included fan hub, which supports nine PWM fans and is located pretty much towards the center of the case. 
On the far left of the case are three removable hard drive cages. These cages support both two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drives. If you don't plan on using them, you can just remove them, but they do do a good job at hiding cables. Sitting on the other side of the motherboard tray are two 2.5 inch SSD mounts. They are also removable and they can either be mounted, you know, where you see them here or on the other side of the case on top of the power supply mount. There are plenty of tie down points and the two included Velcro straps make organizing your cables very easy. I would have liked to have seen the fans and RGB strip pre-wired though. Typically when we have a case that comes with a fan hub, we usually see those fans actually connected to it, you know, out of the box, but the fans as well as the RGB cables on the fans were not pre-connected at all. Having these connected would just have, you know, saved us a step when it came to installation. So that is the Define S2 Vision RGB. You know, Fractal Design really wanted to create a tempered glass case with a lot of RGB, and they've really kind of accomplished that with this case. You have four tempered glass panels, so one on each side, of course, the one up top and the one in the front, and you get four included 140 millimeter ARGB fans, plus an ARGB strip that kind of sits right here. So a lot of value already packed into this case. You know, the biggest thing with tempered glass cases is airflow, and I don't think you're gonna find a case that has a tempered glass front that's gonna give you amazing airflow, but I think with this case, they've kind of done the best that you could do. This front panel sits about an inch off from where the fans sit, so you do have the ventilation on each side here. I think it's the best you're gonna do when it comes to a, you know, a case with a tempered glass front, and by no means does Fractile Design say this is a high airflow case or anything like that. Um, so I think the cooling is good, and you do get the four fans that are included, which is nice, so you already have cooling you know, out of the box. Um, another thing, this is more or less based on the Define S2, which we reviewed last year and is one of our favorite cases. There's a ton of room inside here. You can fit EATX motherboards, the longest graphics cards. Um, you have a ton of room for hard drives and everything like that. Um, and it's all really well done. This case is so easy to build in. We really didn't run into any issues when it came to our installation. Um, and it's just, like I said, it's just a joy to build in. Now, the only issues that I really had with this case, and this is me really just nitpicking here, is one, all of the RGB elements, all the fans in the RGB strip, they're not pre-wired. Um, you know, these can be, the fans and the RGB strip can be daisy chained together, but they're not connected off the bat. And none of, none of the fans are run to the included hub either. Um, on other cases, we've seen everything pre-run. It just makes it so much easier. It makes it so if you're a first time builder, you know, you might not connect these fans in order. So then the effects don't kind of go or anything like that. Um, that's one of the issues. And the other issue is the RGB strip that is right here. It is on this glass panel, uh, the glass top panel. And to take it off, there's 3M tape on it. And it's just not an easy process. Um, I would have liked to have seen it just like magnets or something, um, just so you can either move it around to your liking, or if you're gonna install the other uh, top panel, you can install it on that. So you just don't have that there. Those are the two little things. But at the end of the day, I really like this case. I think that it is the tempered glass case done correctly. Um, there's really not a whole lot to not like about this case. It looks great. Again, you can fit anything inside of here. It's screaming for water cooling. I mean, there's a ton of room to put water cooling stuff. They have all the spots inside to mount reservoirs as well. A lot of stuff there. Um, so if you have any questions about this case, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. And we will have a link where you can pick up the case as well as our full written review on thinkcomputers.org. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you enjoy our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, catch you guys later.